Welcome to Kinvid Talks, where science meets sports performance. In this episode, we're diving into the power of 3D force plates, cutting-edge technology that captures movement in three dimensions, providing unparalleled insights into athletic performance and rehabilitation. Unlike simpler 1D systems, 3D force plates analyze forces, moments, and planes of motion, offering detailed data for optimizing training, injury prevention, and return to play strategies. We'll explore how these tools are transforming sports like soccer, basketball, golf, rugby, and American football. Focusing on key assessments such as change of direction testing, jump analysis, and swing mechanics. Plus, we'll break down essential metrics and installation considerations for those looking to integrate this technology into their performance and rehab programs. So, let's step onto the plate and unlock the future of movement science. Okay, so let's say you want to really understand this whole 3D human movement analysis thing. But you don't have a ton of time. Right. You know, we all know the old ways of doing it, the expensive mm -hmm. labs, mm -hmm. uh, waiting forever to get results. Oh, weeks. Yeah. And even if you're trying to do it yourself, you know, cameras and force plates. Yeah. They often only show you a piece of the puzzle. That's true. You're absolutely right. You might be able to tell how high someone jumps. Right. But you're missing those all-important horizontal forces, the side-to-side -side and the forward movements, that are really what matter most when we're talking about real-world scenarios. Yeah, it's like trying to understand a football game by watching one player. Right. You just don't see the whole picture. You miss all the interactions between the players. Exactly. All those intricate plays. And that's a problem, especially when you're trying to prevent injuries or help an athlete perform at their best. A huge problem. Yeah. And that's where Kinvent comes in. This company is uh, seriously passionate about making movement analysis accurate, but also easy to use. They've developed this uh, system called the 3D Delta, and it's really making waves in the field. Okay, I'm intrigued. So tell me what makes this 3D Delta so different. Well, imagine you have a system that captures the full picture of human movement, Okay. all three dimensions, and it does it in real time. Wow. That's what 3D Delta is all about. We're talking vertical force, lateral force, for force, every direction that matters. So no more like getting just a sliver of the data. Right. You're not just listening to the violins. You're hearing the entire orchestra. We're seeing the whole symphony of movement. Exactly. And that's all thanks to their system of three axis dual force plates. They capture every single nuance of the athlete's movement. So you get a complete picture. This sounds pretty high tech. Yeah. Do I need a special lab or a team of engineers to run this thing? No, not at all. That's the beauty of it. It's designed to be used anywhere. You can set it up on the field, in a gym, you name it. And it's wireless, so no more tripping over cords. Wireless. So athletes can move freely without being tethered to a machine. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about analyzing all this data. We're talking about three dimensions of force in real time. Right. I can see how that could get overwhelming pretty quickly, especially if you're used to just looking at basic jump height numbers. Yeah, and that's where KinInvent's secret weapon comes in. Okay. It's their proprietary AI system called Cassandra. Cassandra, like yeah. the oracle who could see the future. Exactly, and this Cassandra can kind of see the future of an athlete's performance in a way. It integrates seamlessly with the 3D Delta Okay. to take all that complex data and turn it into clear, actionable insights. Okay, now you're speaking my language. Totally. Insights, not just data overload. Yeah. So what kind of insights are we talking about? Well, picture this. You're watching an athlete performing a complex movement, say a tennis serve. Mm -hmm. With Cassandra, you can actually see force vectors. Okay. Those lines representing the direction and magnitude of the force superimposed right onto the video feed. So it's augmented reality. Exactly. You're literally seeing how those forces are impacting their body in real time. Hold on. So I can see the forces that are usually invisible inside the athlete's body? Yes. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie. That's wild. But it's very real. And this level of insight is a total game changer for injury prevention, rehabilitation, and performance optimization. I bet. Okay, but before we get too deep into the applications, I want to know about the system's flexibility. Sure. Can it be used for any type of movement, or is it just for certain sports or activities? That's another thing that makes 3D Delta so powerful. It's adaptability. Uh -huh. You can create custom protocols tailored to whatever you need, whether you're analyzing a sprinter's gait, uh, a weightlifter squat, or a dancer's pirouette. And because it's modular, you can even separate the deltas to analyze movements that cover more ground, like a baseball pitch. So I've got portability, real-time analysis, and customizations. Like, they've thought of everything. Right. But let's be real. Cutting-edge tech usually comes with a pretty big price tag. Yeah, that's true. 
Is this 3D Delta only for elite training facilities with huge budgets? That's a good question and something we'll talk about for sure. But first, let's dive a little deeper into what Cassandra can do and how 3D Delta is being used in different fields. We'll cover all of that in the next part of our deep dive. You've got my attention. I'm ready to go deeper. Welcome back. We're diving deeper into the world of 3D human movement analysis with Kinvent's 3D Delta system. We talked about how it captures data in real time and in all three dimensions, plus it's wireless, which is a game changer for athletes and coaches. Definitely, wireless opens up so many possibilities for training and analysis, especially when you consider that the system can run for like 50 hours on a single charge. 50 hours. That's amazing. You can take this system anywhere from the lab to the field to the gym without worrying about being near an outlet. But with all that moving around, durability has to be a concern. Can this thing really hold up to the wear and tear being used in the real world? Oh, for sure. Each Delta unit is super compact, but they're also built to last. They can handle up to two tons of weight. Two tons? That's seriously strong. Is that much weight capacity really necessary, though? I mean, we're not analyzing elephants here. Yeah, true. For most athletic movements, you're not going to get anywhere near two tons. But having that high capacity means that the system can handle even the most powerful athletes and the most explosive movements without compromising accuracy. It's really about having that extra level of security and knowing that the data is going to be reliable no matter what. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's better to be safe than sorry, especially when you're working with athletes who are pu pushing their limits. Okay, but let's get back to the brain of the operation, Cassandra. You mentioned that it can translate all that raw data into actionable insights. What does that actually look like in practice? Okay, so let's say you're a coach and you're working with a runner who keeps having ankle problems. You think there might be an asymmetry in how they're distributing force when they land? Asymmetry just means there's an imbalance between the left and right sides of the body. Okay, yeah, asymmetry is a uh, common cause of injuries. So how does Cassandra help in this situation? Well, using the data from the 3D Delta Cassandra can analyze every stride the runner takes and pinpoint exactly where those asymmetries are happening. For example, it might show that the runner is landing with more force on the outside of their right foot. Interesting. So we're not just getting a general idea of an imbalance. We're seeing the precise point of impact where the asymmetry is causing problems. Yeah. So what happens next? What can you do with that information? That's where those actionable insights come in. With that knowledge, the coach can adjust the runner's training program. They might add exercises to strengthen specific muscles, improve ankle stability, or even focus on changing the runner's technique to correct how they're landing. So it's like having a detective and a personal trainer all in one Cassandra helps you find the root of the problem and then suggest solutions. But how does it present all this information? Is it just a bunch of graphs and charts or is it more user friendly than that? Kinvent has done a great job of making the software intuitive and easy to use. They present the data in clear visuals, including those augmented reality overlays we talked about. Yeah, those force vectors. Mm -hmm. Can you give me a quick explanation of those for anyone who might be wondering what they're looking at? Sure. Imagine you're drawing an arrow. The direction the arrow points is the direction of the force, and the length of the arrow shows how strong that force is. So when you see those force vectors on top of the athlete, you're actually seeing how their body is creating and absorbing force with each movement. Okay, that makes sense. So if I'm seeing a really long arrow pointing toward the outside of that runner's ankle, that's a pretty clear sign that something needs to change. Exactly. And it's not just about the visuals. Cassandra can also create detailed reports that explain the data in a way that anyone can understand, even if you're not a biomechanics expert. Right. You don't want coaches or therapists to need a PhD to figure out what the information means. Mm. So these reports... Are they just for internal use, or can you share them with others? You can definitely share them. You can easily export the reports and share them with athletes, colleagues, or other members of the healthcare team. That's great for collaboration and communication. So let's say I'm a coach who isn't that comfortable with technology. Would I be overwhelmed by Cassandra, or is it pretty user-friendly? One of the best things about Cassandra is that it comes with a bunch of built-in protocols for different movements and activities. So you don't have to start from scratch. You can just choose the protocol that matches what you're analyzing and Cassandra will walk you through it. It's like having a built-in assistant who already knows how to do everything. Yeah. But what if I want to analyze something that isn't covered by those preset protocols? Like let's say I'm working with a golfer and I want to look at their swing, which is a pretty unique movement. That's where you can customize things. You can easily create your own protocols for specific movements or activities. Like with that golf swing, you could set up the deltas to capture the force data throughout the entire swing from the backswing 
to follow through. Then Cassandra can analyze all those forces, find areas where the golfer might be losing power or efficiency, and give you recommendations for improvement. That's like having a personal swing coach who can see all the tiny details that you would never notice with just your eyes. Okay, but let's shift gears for a second and talk about the bigger picture. We've been focusing a lot on athletes and coaches, but where else do you see 3D, Delta, and Cassandra making a difference? Honestly, the potential is huge. Think about ergonomics designing workspaces that prevent injuries or people who are recovering from injuries or researchers who are studying how people move. Right, because understanding movement is important in so many different areas, not just sports. We all move. We all have bodies that need to work well. So how is Kinvent dealing with the question of cost and accessibility? Because this technology is amazing, but it won't make a real difference if only a few people can afford it. That's a question that a lot of people have, and it's definitely something we'll talk about in the last part of our deep dive. We'll discuss how much it costs, the bigger impact this technology could have on society, and the ethical questions that come up when you have access to this kind of detailed personal data. Ooh, cliffhanger. I'm hooked. Well, let's wrap up this part and get to the bottom of those important questions. All right, so we're back for the final part of our deep dive into 3D Delta and its AI partner in crime, Cassandra. We've seen how it captures movement in 3D, analyzes it all in real time, and gives us those insights that can totally change the game for athletes, coaches, and therapists. Yeah. But now it's time to face the big question. How accessible is this amazing technology really? That's the question everyone's asking, right? We're talking cutting-edge hardware, sophisticated AI, the potential to revolutionize how we approach human movement. I think it's natural to assume that it's going to cost a fortune. Yeah, for sure. It'd be such a shame if this incredible technology was only available to like the elite few, you right. know, the smaller gyms, the clinics, individual practitioners, they could really benefit from this kind of technology. Hmm. So what's the deal? Is Kinven trying to keep it exclusive or are they making an effort to bring 3D Delta to a wider audience? To be completely honest with you, the details of their pricing models haven't been made public yet. But from what I've been able to gather, Kinvent is really committed to making this technology available to everyone. They believe that everyone should have the chance to benefit from these insights, not just the big organizations. Okay, that's good to hear. But what does that look like in real life? Are we talking about payment plans, leasing options, partnerships with schools and universities? What's the strategy here? I don't have the exact specifics yet, but I can tell you they're exploring different ways to make it more affordable. They seem to understand that for 3D Delta to reach its full potential, it needs to be used by a lot of people, and they're working towards making that happen. That's fantastic news. I would love to see this technology empowering coaches at all levels, helping them help their athletes. But let's take a step back for a moment and think about the bigger picture. Where else could 3D Delta be a game changer? outside of sports and rehab. The possibilities are pretty mind-blowing, honestly. Think about things like ergonomics, you know, designing workspaces that reduce strain and prevent injuries. With 3D Delta, you could analyze how people move and interact with their surroundings and create safer and more efficient workplaces. Right, because so many of us spend hours sitting at desks or doing repetitive motions. Imagine designing furniture tools, even entire offices based on real 3D movement data. Mm. We could prevent a ton of work-related injuries and boost productivity at the same time. Absolutely. And think about the potential in healthcare beyond just physical therapy. We could use 3D Delta to assess and treat patients with neurological conditions, helping them regain motor control and improve their quality of life. It's like opening up a whole new world of possibilities of rehabilitation. We could even see it used in senior care facilities, helping older adults stay mobile and independent longer. Exactly. And don't forget about personalized fitness. Imagine a world where everyone at the gym could get a detailed 3D analysis of their movement patterns, get personalized exercise plans, and track their progress with incredible precision. It would be like having a virtual personal trainer who knows your body inside and out, guiding you to better form injury prevention and amazing results. The possibilities are really endless. But with all this focus on data and technology, we can't forget about the human element. For sure, 3D Delta is an incredibly powerful tool, but it's not a magic solution. It's the combination of this data-driven insight with the knowledge and expertise of coaches, therapists, and trainers that really unlocks its potential. Couldn't agree more. The human touch, the ability to understand the data, apply it to each person's needs, and provide individual guidance that's always gonna be essential. We're talking about using technology to enhance human expertise, not to replace it. So as we wrap up our deep dive today, here's a final thought for you, our listener. How do you see this technology impacting your own life? 
Whether you're an athlete pushing for that next level, a healthcare professional striving for better outcomes for your patients, or just someone who's fascinated by the human body, 3D Delta gives us a glimpse into a future where we can understand and optimize our movements in ways we never thought possible. It's an exciting future for sure. As this technology keeps evolving and becomes more available, we have a real opportunity to unlock human potential in incredible ways. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of 3D human movement analysis. We'll catch you next time on The Deep Dive where we'll explore another fascinating topic and uncover its hidden depths. Until then, keep moving, keep learning, and keep pushing the limits of what's possible.